So this is the new Xtool F1. This is a dual laser cutter and engraver, and this is using a Gabo system, so it moves extremely fast. And as you just saw, this was done in real time. And with the built-in infrared laser, you're able to etch and engrave into metals. This is everything that comes in the box, and you can see it comes with a decent amount of materials for you to try out. With both of these laser options, you have a ton of different materials to choose from that you can engrave on. The machine is also very lightweight and portable, with a small footprint. And it does have a built-in enclosure to protect your eyes from the laser along with a built-in exhaust fan for the fumes and smoke. And I just have this hooked up to the ventilation setup in my shop. But if you don't have a dedicated ventilation setup, they do have a smoke purifier as an option. On the inside of this, it has a pre-filter on the top to capture any breathable particles. And the rest of this is a HEPA filter with activated charcoal in the middle and another HEPA filter at the bottom. And with this all set up and engraving some wood, this thing actually works really well. And I have absolutely no smoke smell. And this tube here is the exit exhaust of the purifier. And if you wanted to, you could put this out a window so you can get absolutely all of your exhaust out of your work area. One of the materials that it came with is some photo paper, and this material is very easy to mark on. And this gives me a chance to show you how to focus the laser on your material. And you just need these two points to overlap. And that's all done with this knob right here. And turning it will raise or lower the laser head. And when it comes to the software to actually run this machine, you can use the free software from Xtool, or you can use the paid software from Lightburn. And this is actually the first engraving I did after getting the laser set up. And this took a little over a minute to finish, which isn't super fast. But overall, it doesn't look too bad. But for the next test, it's going to be a bit faster faster, as you can see it working in real time. And I would say it came out pretty good for a 3 second job. I also did something that was a little more complex, but this one only took 30 seconds. And looks pretty good, but it has some kind of burnt parts. So the power setting is, might be a little too high. And like I said before, there are two different types of lasers in this machine. One of them is a 10 watt diode laser, and the other is a 2 watt IR laser. And inside the machine they're stacked on top of one another, and use mirrors to move them around to make your designs. And you can use both of these lasers together in the same job to do some interesting things. As an example, this is a piece of black acrylic. I'm using the IR to engrave on the top because it gets a really nice white finish, and then switching over to the diode laser to cut it out. And after about four minutes, I have a custom keychain. With that being said, this only works on opaque acrylic, and it won't do anything to the clear. But there are still a lot of materials that you can work with, as you can see here. So as an example, if you want to put something onto slate, you can. And this took about 15 minutes using the infrared laser. And you can put materials in here that are bigger than the machine, or even put it over materials and just remove the base plate so you can engrave on just about anything. And if you are cutting something out, make sure to have something like this honeycomb board underneath it so you don't cut your table. There's also a rotary tool option for this so you can engrave on round objects. And setup for this is pretty straightforward. The machine comes with a wire that you just plug directly into the stepper motor and with the other side plugged directly in the side of the machine. And now you can engrave on the outside of round objects. And if you move the rotary tool at an angle, you can engrave on the inside of a ring. So you can quickly personalize wedding rings or just add whatever you want to the inside. And I also thought I would do some sort of little project using metal. So I'm marking this piece of copper and then making a design in the center so I can cut it out using a jeweler saw and turn it into a necklace. Recently I did a video on the Laser Pecker 3, which is also a small format portable laser. So why not put them head to head using the same material, same file, and see how they do. And as you can see, the F1 is a bit faster than the Laser Pecker. And with that being said, there's no actual speed settings in the Laser Pecker software. There's just a depth setting, which I found the lower you set it, the faster it goes. So for this, it's set to 1. And the F1 only took 12 seconds to finish this, and let me fast forward the Laser Pecker one a little bit. And there we go, it took a total of 41 seconds. And both of them came out looking nice and crisp. I did notice that the one from the F1 is a little bit brighter of a white, but they're both completely fine and usable. But you can see how much faster the F1 is over the Laser Pecker 3. And due to the Laser Pecker only having the infrared laser, you're going to be limited on what materials you can actually use it on, which isn't that much of a deal breaker, but having more options is usually better. And as you can see, if I tell the F1 to use its blue laser, it's able to engrave on wood. As you've seen, this laser setup has a lot of potential, and I'm sure I'm going to find a lot of uses for it. And as of recording this, this machine is on pre-order and has a little bit of a discount for backing it early, basically. So if you'd like to get one or anything I used in this video, I'll have links to everything in the description below. And if you haven't guessed, Xtool was nice enough to send this out to me free of charge, for me to do testing on and make this video. But all thoughts and opinions in this video are all my own. So let me know what you think of this laser setup in the comments. I'll try to read all of them. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.